Fusion Blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Coast to coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. with you, ladies and gentlemen. I have been absolutely crazed since I learned this news Thursday night. And again, I'm not bragging. I want you to know that I'm concerned and I know what I'm talking about. I had former Congressman Bob Barr on, who's in the lead, uh, running for his district that goes into Atlanta. Uh, he is like Ron Paul. He's like Ted Cruz, Rand Paul. Uh, he's the guy that first exposed the NSA back in the mid-90s, former CIA uh, high-level uh, operative and controller. And uh, he basically concurs with my analysis of what we're facing as a takeover by corporate interests that are not free market using the government to use the American system and empire to take over the world while we go bankrupt. We're being used up like rocket boosters uh, on the space shuttle. And I don't like that. Number one, I don't like being part of an immoral operation. Number two, I really don't like it destroying the country. And believe me, we're being destroyed, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I mean, I am literally angry right now. I mean, I have not felt like this since I was like 18 years old. 
I mean, the guys were just witnessing during the break. I mean, I am, I am seriously in absolute battle mode right now. And I'm telling you, something big's about to happen. I've been telling you for months, ladies and gentlemen, I got a bad feeling. And it's all this stuff happening, but there's something else. I think it's going to be a false flag, a staged terror attack blamed on libertarians and conservatives. And I think they're going to go for everything because the collectivists, the criminals, the communists, the socialists, the people that control that, the corporate interests that are authoritarian and basically criminal in nature, not free market, they're anti-Renaissance. All their white papers say they need giant catalyzing terror attacks to be able to take over domestically. And we've quoted those in the Financial Times of London, you name it. And now they know the pendulum worldwide is swinging against collectivism and against socialism and against all these gangs that these big city corrupt systems create. So they're basically cornered rats right now. And that's why... If I was Robbie the Robot, I'd be saying Danger Will Robinson because we're winning right now. But the enemy has a lot of tools up their sleeve. They can see us peacefully, politically winning on the fake global warming and the carbon taxes, on the open borders, uh, on the restrictions on the Second Amendment, uh, on trying to launch wars in Syria to be Al-Qaeda's Air Force, and these corporate interests using the Pentagon and NATO as, as a system to stir stuff up. Mainline libertarians and Republicans are now saying, look, we can't start wars just so defense contractors can make money. There's an awakening that we need to salvage the republic and even salvage the empire, what's left of it, so that the world doesn't descend into chaos with the chi -coms running things. I mean, this is serious, ladies and gentlemen. We can't just cut off the empire today. Stuff will really blow up. It's got to be phased out immediately. We do not want this thing to come crashing down like the Soviet Union, as most analysts think it will, because we're going to be left with all the homeland security wreckage and all these bureaucracies that are going to literally eat us alive. When they don't have the world to feed on, oh, Katie, bar the door. We've already been the blood supply to grow these metastasizing globalist tumors. In our name, in the American empire's name, as they dissolve the old republic. And I try to come in here and be calm, but man, I am just absolutely on edge right now. Absolutely on edge. I mean, let me just read you some of this, some of these headlines. I mean, Dinesh D'Souza is an ordained, you know, theologian, no criminal record, top of his class. Standard bundling is to get all your friends to give to somebody. And a lot of the friends work for him. Yeah, the guy is a big filmmaker and best-selling author. And it's standard procedure. The Democrats have been caught by the Veritas Project, or Project Veritas, in Battleground, Texas, and other places on tape saying, yeah, we vote hundreds of times. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we register the illegals to vote. Yeah, we uh, bundle money to give. No one gets in trouble. But then Dinesh D'Souza goes, and in one case, because it's his best friend from college, raises her $20,000 off five donors. That's what you do in campaign operations. That's standard. They tried to put Tom DeLay in jail for it. They were unable to. What do you think the PACs do? What do you think George Soros giving hundreds of millions a year or Bloomberg giving hundreds of millions a year to anti-gun causes? I said he spent 50 million of his own money. That was in his first campaign. The next campaign, I looked it up, over 90 million. I show people that to type in how much did Bloomberg spend on campaign. I think it was 92 million. The point is they can do all this, but you can't give $20,000 to somebody trying to beat the Democrat that was taking Hillary Clinton's seat. I mean, I, I, I looked up the Virginia governor and the stuff he did is maybe an ethics concern. That is standard procedure that on the governor's amount of money, you can't live. And they went and had some guy that wanted him to pitch his supplements because this governor was a sports enthusiast. And he said, yeah, I'll pitch. I'll tell folks how much I like your supplements. That's standard endorsement. And sure, a governor probably shouldn't be doing it, but all these Democratic governors do it. And they don't get in trouble because it's a gray area. And I'm an anti-corruption guy, but let me tell you something. You don't put somebody in jail for jaywalking and then let, you know, somebody like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer go free. Or Mr. Helter Skelter himself. You don't do that. You don't let Charles Manson walk free while sending somebody to the Hooskow because they got caught smoking cigarettes out behind the barn. I mean, that's basically what this is. D D'Souza didn't do anything. The governor was so paranoid when good guys start doing bad things, he incriminated himself by thinking it was bad, if you believe the Democratic Party operative chef.
which I don't. I mean, let me tell you, I'm in the media and I'm a libertarian patriot. I have experienced lying you wouldn't believe by operatives, folks. I mean, we let Democratic Party operatives in this office before not knowing they were operatives and they ran off and make stuff up. That's why we have surveillance cameras inside. Thank God. I mean, you would not believe the stuff people make up. So I know what this is like. And let me tell you, if you're a patriot and you've got domestic help, you better watch your butt. They will make stuff up. People are forced to sign non-disclosures, not so they don't expose the bad stuff you're doing, so they don't use the fact that you let them into your life to then go make stuff up and project onto that relationship whatever lies they want. That's how scum gets ahead in the world. And the governor has pled not guilty. Dinesh D'Souza has pled not guilty. Now, why are they both so important? Well, number one, he was the main front runner against Hillary. Notice who the other big front runner was, Chris Christie, who cozied up to Obama. Didn't matter, they're calling it as big as Watergate over that bridge. And of course, Christie's a thug and a pig and an open borders, anti-gun trash. Compared to Hillary, he's an angel cake. He's being destroyed. This other governor, McDonald, really good guy compared to uh, these Democratic operatives. I mean, he's about as clean as you're going to get at that level. All right. Uh, then you've got uh, Dinesh D'Souza, completely clean his whole life. Tried to get his best friend from college into, into the Senate and did standard procedure that is openly legal when Democrats do it. I mean, folks, a third, look it up, a third, a third of Obama's money came from foreign IP addresses and there was no investigation. By the attorney general who covered up Fast and Furious, he ran, even though he got caught lying, shipping guns to Mexico to blame the Second Amendment, Salandra. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I mean, they're protecting John Corzine. They're protecting the IRS, persecuting people. I mean, uh, listen... Nixon had to step down and was, and, and, and the impeachment began over 120-something people on a list, folks. They targeted Fox News, the Associated Press. It came out in the news four years ago. I am on the White House enemies list. Then it came out later that I indeed am. And let me tell you, it's fun having the bureaucrats show up here every few weeks. I just tell them flat out, you know, you go ahead and try to dig something up. I've done nothing knowingly. They never find anything. But let me just tell you, this country is screwed. FBI, ATF, state police, uh, Secret Service, they've all been here over and over again. Okay? With white gloves, ladies and gentlemen. I never even talk about this on air. I know what scum these people are. I know who they are. They are criminal mafia running the Justice Department. And if you don't think that's scary, you're fools. And a lot of you out there are like, well, I better shut up. No, no, no. The answer to this type of bullying is to stand up to them. You better be scared of them winning and nobody standing up to them. The truth is they're doing all this because they're scared. Because Dinesh D'Souza, those two governors could have brought down Hillary. And not that they're perfect. And now Dinesh D'Souza, whose film's coming out, in the summer on July 4th to deprogram the left out of their race baiting garbage. Oh man, they're, they're trying to stop the production right now. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on healthcare? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
bottom line iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine.